customized the board, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you go first. Okay. Hey, uh, the real runner on here, uh, live on my page. I invited everybody to speak, uh, join in and, and comment. I invited my buddy, my bestie, Tim Ryland. Did I say that right? Ryland? Yep. Yeah, right. you got it right. Yeah. Uh, Tim and I, we disagree a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. But you're in my home, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we wanted to talk about a few things tonight. I wanted to talk about David Crow. Uh, dude down in Jinx that told me that uh, parents getting together to try to make a difference in public education, they should just stick to their own district. And then I also wanted to talk about safety as far as uh, public schools are concerned. And I wanted to talk about uh, Tim's thing, Gaggle. Uh, if y'all haven't heard about Gaggle, uh, Tim's going to talk about it tomorrow, right? Yes. At the Owasa Public School Board meeting. So uh, y'all need to get together with us and, uh, and, and make some things happen. We have to come together as a community, uh, Republican, Democrat, Social, I don't care if you're communist, you got to come together and figure this out for our kids' safety. So go ahead. What, what, what you got? Anything? Um, I mean, nothing to add to that, really. Um, you agree with that? Though, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, me and Ron don't see eye to eye, but we still get along, and that's kind of the goal here is to get people to stop bickering about petty stuff, find some common ground, and work from there. And, and we but, do. We, uh, we communicate quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, Tim will email... The administration and I will email the administration and and we'll 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 banter off of each other. Yeah, go ahead. Get, okay. I'm the better looking one too. Uh, but we'll banter off of each other and we'll throw ideas and he'll tell me that I'm ignorant and I'll be like, Tim, that's crazy. And uh, but then we his we, words, not mine. But but then we'll meet in the middle, right? Yeah. Um, because we speak quite a bit at the Owasso School Board meeting. Yeah, lately. Yeah. No, it's like talking to a brick wall these days, it seems like. Yeah, it really Sometimes. is. Yeah. Um, and let's just start with yours. Let's start with Gaggle. Let's, what is Gaggle? Do parents even know what Gaggle is? Most parents probably I do. don't. I get parents all the time at the board meeting that are like, oh, I never heard of anything like that because the district, they don't tell anybody. They're not very transparent. And as uh, one of the board members said to me after a board meeting, well, if we told parents about it, it wouldn't work as well, because essentially what it does is it spies on everything your kids do while they're on the computer, and it sends it off to some third-party corporation, and what they do with it, who knows, because there's no oversight to this stuff, but so it exists. And what is Gaggle, then? What, what happens when... What, what's this, is it a software program? Is it? Yeah, so it attaches to the Google Suite account. Uh, which your kids are forced to use if they go to Owasso Public Schools. And then they monitor everything that is done within that account, whether it's typing, searches, uh, uploading documents, pictures, anything like that. So any keystroke that they do on their Chromebooks or whatever device they're in, that I don't know if it's keystrokes. I don't think it is, but it's certainly possible. It's some 1984 shit, Tim. I yeah. Don't, I mean, and because... then once once they get that information, it goes to the servers for Gaggle, which runs it through their, you know, AI uh, program. And Data then, mining. I mean, it could be. And then they uh, they flag certain keywords or phrases, and they won't tell you what those are. The school won't tell you what those are because they are bound contractually to not tell you. Uh, this is according to the school themselves. And then it goes off to some remote contractor making 10 bucks an hour, reading through all your kids' stuff or looking at pictures that the children have sent. And then... No uh, matter what it is. And well, if it gets flagged by the system. That in, do they have access to this at any point in time? Yeah, and it doesn't matter if you are on your personal laptop, if you're sitting at home, if you're on your phone, uh, they'll still, uh, if you're using the Google account for your school, then it's, all that information is being sent to get. And mm -hmm. then they can call the cops if they want to, if, they, if something gets flagged. So a lot of the words that get flagged are trans, homo, gay, stuff like that. Um, so a lot of people think that it's, you know, discriminatory because then 
some school districts are outing kids, you know, if they're gay or what have you, and, you know, that's not right. That's a problem all on its own. But, yeah. Um, that's a whole nother lie. Right. Yeah, yeah. And the, or get punished for things that they've said while they were sitting at home. So. Have, have, and I've been at the board meetings, but let, let the people know, um, when you've addressed this with your administration, what, what in the board members... I was there one night when you hollered at somebody across the parking lot. I want to talk to you. You're my board member. Wrong. You said it. I didn't. But <laughs> what, what's been the response as far as communicating with the board members in, in the administration? Uh, Brent has talked to me, but he's made it clear that there's nothing I can do about it. Um, Rhonda's been pretty hateful towards me. Um, she even interrupted me during one of my speeches to talk smack. She did. Uh, I, I was there. Yeah, she did. Yeah, which is funny because she was whispering, which violates the Open Meeting Act if it's not able to be understood on the record because everything that's spoken in a board meeting is supposed to be public record, so you can't be talking. And in fact, board members have gotten in trouble for texting during the board meetings. In fact, over at TPS, they yeah. they've got them on camera and in pictures. Right. You can't do that. Yeah. I mean, it may seem petty, but there's a good reason for it, for sure. Absolutely. Um, but uh, but recently, because before they told me that whenever you sign the tech agreement or agree to it, that's that's you know tacit agreement for them to use gaggle. That's what they told me last year. So this year, when I go to enroll my kids, um, I couldn't do it because I don't agree. So I call them up, and they're like, "Yeah, you can print off the tech agreement and write on the bottom that you don't agree, and then go and enroll your kids." So I'm like, "Well, are you going to continue surveilling my kids and?" Mark Officer, the new assistant superintendent, he's like, well, yeah. <laughs> like, There's we don't need you your do. there, We don't need your permission, that's what he said. So, you know, so, it is what it is. Um, and to that, we, we talked about this. You tried to enroll your kid. They said you had to sign this tech agreement. Mm -hmm. You was like, no, I'm not doing that. That's 1984 shit. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Pretty much. And they said, no, well, you can... Right. Right, you can write on the bottom that you don't agree, but it doesn't matter because they're going to do whatever they're going to do anyway. It's, you know, which I'll be addressing that tomorrow at the board meeting as well. It's uh, what what's wrong with pen and paper? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I think it's Some because other. they can't monitor that uh, constantly and in real time. So what is the? I guess I know, but what is the goal of monitoring that? I mean, they claim it's to prevent teen suicide, uh, but if you look at the graphs of teen suicide, it's actually gone up over the last 15 years or so, which is ironic because these programs have been growing in use in the last 15 years. Right. So it's not working. Did when we were in when we were in school, I don't remember anybody committing suicide, Tim. Do you? I, no, I don't. Still to this day, I don't. No, I in Owasso, class of 98, uh, we, we had a couple people well, in Well, come join us and no. tell us about it. No. <laughs> no. That's my wife. Uh, what else about Gaggle? Gaggle is, and I wasn't really into Gaggle because, the, I mean, you have to pick your battles. I got so many fires and the irons in the fire, and I just, but Tim shared some information. I was like, yeah, this is 1984 ish stuff, so. I started looking into it, and Gaggle is a big deal, like Edpuzzle, uh, different software programs that are uh, inundated into our children's schools starting from kindergarten. And, right. and they're, they're monitoring, and they're watching, and they're doing this, and none of this would have been exposed except for I mean, I just, COVID? I, yeah, I guess so. It started, you know, whenever they started shoving Chromebooks down everybody's throat. Exactly. Uh, they, COVID. It was like an immediate transition. And it's it's weird because now when the kids are in school, uh, I'm hearing feedback from my children that the teacher will talk for 10 or 15 minutes and then, okay, do your work. And they'll be staring at their screens the rest of the time, which is a problem all on its own. So, yeah, somebody you know. else that created the software or the curriculum is teaching the children. Right. Whereas we spent 45 minutes listening to our teachers yeah. teach and not reading. And interacting back and forth with right. the teachers. That's important as well. And now they've got another program called Lightspeed. So oh, the, Lightspeed. Yeah, tell them about if, Lightspeed. If Gaggle was a, a match, Lightspeed is a flamethrower. Um, oh, it's kerosene on a, on a 
It's terrible. Yeah. The, the, the district at any point can go in and do anything to the laptop. They can open apps. They can close apps. They can force uh, somebody to look at something. Uh, and it's constantly monitoring them. It's also running like screen scraping, which means whatever is on there, it'll run through algorithms. And if there's something, you know, uh, threatening or whatever, it will also flag that and then potentially call the police. This is also happening when they're in your home. So now the teacher can sit there and look. Hang on, at hang on a sec. So if if we have a, a distance learning day or a snow day and we have a Chromebook or laptop that from the school in our home. They're watching our, our home. Yes, yes. Uh, the well, the functionality exists to do that. Um, and this is, you know, this is kind of scary because Lower Marion School District uh, it just lost a lawsuit a couple of years ago. They had anti theft, right? And mm -hmm. they were able to the district go in and take pictures of children in their bedroom, and some of those kids actually without gotten, parent knowledge, without anybody knowing. Yeah, they they only found out because one of the kids had gotten in trouble for something he was doing in his bedroom that they took a picture of. Seriously. So the functionality exists, and I don't trust these administrators enough to do the best with that stuff that they can. I just don't. I don't. Why don't you though? I don't trust a lot of people. I mean, you don't I, trust you know, anybody, Tim. When when there's a lot of money behind it, I you know I start to ask questions. So, you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty bad. I'm sorry, my producer is telling me to <laughs> hurry up or something. I don't know. Um, okay, Gaggle. If you want to hear more about Gaggle and the 1984 experience that's going on in public schools, you need to come tomorrow to the Wasa Public School Board meeting. Tim's going to speak to that. I'm going to speak to safety. Let's talk about safety for just a second. Um, Uvalde, horrible, horrible accident or uh, tragic phenomenon, whatever. The dude was crazy. Um, but I have talked to administrators. Uh, Paul Croft. I love. Do you like Paul Croft? You know him. Paul, um, the guy with the beard. Wasa. I'm trying to place the name of. The He's face. a security and uh, he, he does security for Wasa. Wonderful dude. Uh, we are talking, I am talking with him and the city council and senators, house rep, to try to get a sky bridge across 129. That's a great idea. Because yeah. if anybody That's was going to do something bad to kids, it would be at 129th where all those high schoolers were crossing the road. Yeah. That's a problem. We need to make sure we get that taken care of. We, and to, we can see Mars, but we can't do a sky bridge across 129th. Right. Come on now. Yeah, it makes me nervous just sitting there when the it lights does. red. Yeah. You know? What if somebody's brakes or accelerator went out yeah. or whatever? It's a, it's Anything. an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, sure is. I'm uh, surprised nothing's happened yet. I know. I know. That we know of. Hundreds of hundreds of kids walk across that every single day. Yeah. Um, would you say that since Tim, and I'll say t Tim, got Tyler Wren fired? I mean. I mean, I you know, I, I to let's, me that was the only way to handle that situation. But let's let's talk about this. Oh man, let's talk about this because I brought it to your attention. Well, he said, "Fuck your parents," and I'm a parent, and I said, "Fuck you." Right. He said, "If if your parents don't support you with whatever you do, if you want to cut your stuff off and you want to do injections or whatever, f fuck your parents." That's what he said, yeah. right? Yeah, I mean, it will. It was devoid of context, really. Um, but the, you know, the message was simply to disobey your parents. Right. I mean, you've got a teacher telling kids to not obey their parents. Yeah, that boggles my mind. You know, and it really upset me. That's why I sent that email. Uh, Tim, do you know where Tyler works today? Tulsa Public Schools. Tulsa Public. Schools. I mean, we knew that was coming, too. It, we, we did. We talked about that. Yeah, right? we did. We talked Deborah about Gist that. invites that type of behavior yeah. from teachers. For whatever reason, I don't know because I don't sleep with Deborah Gist, but <laughs> Tim might. I don't. I'll take one for the team, Ron. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Here's the thing. 
she invites that type of atmosphere in her school instead of the basics, right? We just right. want basic reading, writing, arithmetic, contextual history, and factual science. Yes, yeah, no? yes, absolutely. You know, I... None of the... I no Donald Trump. Nothing. No, no politics. No, nothing. no. It's Educate. They're supposed to be there for school. They've, they've lost their way. They're, they're putting too much time and effort into things, you know, like the software to make sure kids are safe, you know, whatever. Like, do your best while they're in school and then let them go home and whatever the parents and the kids decide is best for the parent or the child, leave for it at that. thousands of years this has right. worked, right? Yeah. Now the government wants to come in and, whoa, you know, you can't do that because this is bad. I don't, I don't get it. But, you know, it, maybe we're we're now the old guys that just doesn't understand what it's like to be young, you know. Do you which think is, that? Which is possible. Do you think I that? Mean, sure, to some degree, absolutely, but... I know everything, Kim. But at the same time, you know, uh, whenever I was young, uh, a girl could go out and play with bugs and, and eat bugs or do whatever, and she was still a girl. Yeah. Um, you know, and boys could play with dolls. And they were still boys. They could, you know, we've always had a spectrum of, you know, masculinity and femininity uh, throughout I'll, all life. I mean, I'll give you an example. Yeah. Somebody I know really close, she's, she told me, she's like, if, if this was happening today when it happened back in the 80s and 90s, they probably would have sought me out as a transgender person and tried to influence me. Right. Because I was a tomboy. I liked playing with the boys mm -hmm. until, and playing in the dirt and eating bugs and stuff until there was that point where I, I decided as an individual that I was a girl. Yeah. What's yeah. wrong with that? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, it, you know, I just, I feel like there's a group of kids who, because we've come so far for, you know, gay rights and such, that the fight, that they don't really have a fight to to, to do like we, right. you know, when I grew up, it was gay rights was the big thing. And I was a proponent of gay rights and gay marriage. But then once they got that, then what was left? Well, then they just started creating stuff is what it seems to me. I because mean, it didn't serve a purpose anymore, right? Right. I mean, it's, you know, it's just... It's, and then we're going backwards because let's talk about the Women's Sports Act. The, oh, God. Now, I don't know the specifics of the Women's Sports Act, but... Because I was interviewed the other day by Channel 8. They're going to run an interview on August 18th. Um, and now, today, you and I, when we played high school ball, ball or whatever, we had to go in with the doctor and we had to turn our head a cop, right? Oh, I remember that, yeah. But our parents didn't have to fill out an affidavit that said we had a penis or I had a vagina. But now they do, right? Right, yeah. I, uh, apparently, that's uh, yeah. you, you were talking to me about that the other day. That's that kinda, is kinda asinine weird. to me. Yeah. We live kinda in a weird. day and age. Right. Yeah, because when it comes to sports, I mean, you know, it's unfair for women, especially for a, you know, trans boy or you know, trans girl, or whatever. It's a dude. It's not yeah. a trans uh, anything. Uh, it's a dude. You know, what have you? Uh, <laughs> to go in there and compete against girls. I mean, not that it gets girls, but guys are. Just, I mean, that's biology. Right. Bigger muscles. I mean, you know, bigger lungs. It's it's physics. Right. I mean, you it's can't biology. get around. Yeah. So, you know, and when what, what was the name of that swimmer? Oh, uh, Leah, so, Leah Thomas. Oh yeah. my God, that Leah was so Thomas. upsetting. She had bigger shoulders than I did. Oh man. Her reach was like set. Of course, she was going to stomp the shit right. out of some women. Yeah. So you know, and it's. I don't I mean, know. If your it's daughter, there. if your daughter, that was her passion, and that's what she wanted to do, right? And she just lost a scholarship to a dude. Come on now. Right. Yeah. No. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and, uh, we're we're all about empowering women, which I'm all for. But how empowering is it to a woman to look at this, you know, male that um, <laughs> that then becomes. A female. Well, she hasn't even become a now female. Now has an yet. advantage. She hasn't even become a female. She's got a bigger package than I do. <laughs> Maybe. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to know. I'll leave that between her and the doctor, or him, her, whatever. You know, I don't know what pronouns uh, they use. 
and I'm smiling. I'm not laughing at it's 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 asinine and it's comical that we're living in a day and age that this is even a, a topic to me. It is, and it, and it really puts I think women back a while because it. You know, it, it, it hurts their sports, first of all, and they can't even compete in their own sports because they have biological men competing against them and, you know. Because of feelings, right? Right. I mean, even the weakest man is generally stronger than a strong woman, you know, in terms of strength and, you know. Because of biology. Right. Physics. It's like, don't blame the messengers. Um, let's 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 switch stuff because I could talk about that all day long. Let's, yeah. Let's switch oh, yeah. Uh, topics. David Crow, uh, I talked to him a couple of years ago when we started Parents Voice. Now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we started Parents Voice here in Owasso, and it went statewide. There's Oklahoma Parents Voice. There's Tulsa, Owasso, Shawnee, San. There's Parents Voice everywhere. Um, David, I talked to him a couple years ago, and he said, "Listen." I got jinx. You need to mind your own business and stay in Owasso. Why are you even worried about jinx students? And now he's coming at Moms for Liberty. He's coming at uh, Tulsa Parents Voice. Why? Why are people from Tulsa even worried about jinx? Can you speak as somebody that is definition against me politically? Why it's important for Owasso? Jinx, Broken Arrow, Tulsa, everybody to be involved in the same thing as far as public education is concerned. Well, I mean, in the macro sense, um, Tulsa and its surrounding communities are one large community. That's why it's called Tulsa Metropolitan. Absolutely. So, I mean, technically, we're all kind of jumbled into this one area, um, and then you can take it and look at the smaller individual areas, but then you can look at it as a whole of Oklahoma and that what affects anybody in Oklahoma affects everybody else in Oklahoma. So it's important that everybody have access to the same level of education or, you know, a lack of, you know, these virtue signaling things that they've got going on in schools today. So, let me, know, let me ask you this. I think it's fine. Uh, House Bill 1775, you agree or disagree? Now, that one is... Let's go. The, which one is that? The CRT, the gender equality, race. Yeah, so it's weird that I see my fellow Democrats railing about this because I actually read it top to bottom. I know he did. Word. This son of a bitch is like a and, nerd. And even though I understand what Democrats are upset about, if you actually read the damn bill, it's not nearly as bad as they say it is. And everything in there makes sense. It's like we shouldn't be teaching that kind of stuff. Just teach it as it was. That's the way it should be. Do, do you think that I'm against teaching history bad, good, or indifferent? No. No. Do you think I'm against teaching history and saying, uh, Thomas Jefferson owned slaves? How do you feel about that? Uh, no. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't, what we, it what doesn't, we feel about it. doesn't matter. It happened. It so, happened. You know. Tell them it happened. Right. We don't need to interject our feelings onto that. You know, and it's funny because while they concern themselves with stuff like that, still we don't learn the truth about people like Christopher Columbus, right? who was a slave trader. Yet when I was in school, and maybe they've changed the textbook since then, and I don't think they have, I didn't learn any of that stuff. I mean, they went and committed genocide against an entire people, Christopher Columbus and his, you know, Are you talking about like the Aztecs and stuff? No, the Arawaks. Well, I don't know how to pronounce it, but the Arawak tribe, they they went to this place, they found gold and all of this pristine land, so they started snatching these people up, and in fact, they were... What was that? That was my computer. Oh. Big, Big brother up. over here telling us 8 o'clock. Arawak, I've heard of that. Yeah, so uh, they eventually, over you know the course of some time, they, they killed them all off, or they sold them to slavery um, to Spain. Let me ask you this. Should I feel bad when I sit down at Thanksgiving dinner uh, wanting to enjoy my family and and not be accused of celebrating native casualties? In Ab- your, absolutely, you should feel terrible. But you're, you're native, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, no. I mean, Thanksgiving, it's like Christmas. I'm not religious. 
but I celebrate Christmas. I'm completely Thanksgiving religious. to me is my favorite holiday. I and love I, Thanksgiving, right? I do it because of family. I get to go and see family that I don't often see. And the last thing on my mind is the reason why we are doing that anyway. I why? mean, you know. Why is it a big issue? I don't know. People always want to have something to bitch about, I guess. I mean, I always have stuff to drive about. I, I have stuff to bitch about, too. And I'm <laughs> sure the board members are like, oh, God, we can't wait till these Here we two, go again. Till these two guys come see us tomorrow night. Um, okay, well, that, what else? We're going to do this more often because I enjoyed this and I, I think it's informative. I think it's I think it's I think it's crucial that we come to. I'm a, I'm a registered Republican. What are you? I, I don't want to call you out, but I'm, I'm a registered yeah. Democrat. Yeah, you're a Democrat. Yeah, Get the I mean, fuck I'm out registered of my house. Democrat. Are you really? Yeah. No. I have been all my life. I thought you were independent. Well, I'm registered as a Democrat. I don't register as an independent. I register as a Democrat. And Tim has told me he's like Ron. You're more to the middle than than you let people think. Yeah, and, and he's called me on. I really am. I, I agree. Yeah. Um, and you know me. I'm gonna. I call balls and strikes. So if you right. call me on some shit, I'll I'll say yeah or no or whatever. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, and that's that's a problem though. Is that people agree with each other a lot more than they think, but they're mm -hmm. too busy pissed off about other things that don't really make a difference that they they, they don't listen. Right. They don't like the messenger, so so they ignore the message. That's that's awesome. I yeah. love that. Yeah. I, a matter of fact, I had somebody the other day on the bus. They're like, "Well, I don't like the way that you, you know, said this to this person." Uh, so uh, you know that that negates what you're saying. I'm like, "Well, that's dumb." Well, you know. But you you really don't know how to talk to people. You're, you're I don't. No, I'm I'm terrible. You're you're really yeah. hateful. Yeah, I can be for yeah. sure. Um, and I'm an asshole, but I'm a witty, charismatic, good-looking, charming asshole. Yeah. He just, he just, he, he doesn't know. I just don't. Me. I don't like, you know, bullshitting around and, and, you know, creating a facade to make other people feel better. Uh, you know. he, he's not about feelings. I love feelings. Um, <laughs> we're both gonna talk tomorrow night at a Wasso Public School Board meeting. Um, be there. Show and, your support. Yeah. Show. If you're worried about this, um, if you're worried about children's, ed go ahead and tell. If, you, if you're worried about your children's education, and I didn't go to a board meeting until like two years ago. Yeah, I first started a year ago when I found out about Gaggle. I'm like, okay, yeah, that's that's too much. And if you have any questions about Gaggle, Tim Ryland, um, he's the he's the guy to ask. And now light speed. Light speed. Light, oh my oh. god. It's it's so bad. It's it's even for me. It's really bad. Yeah, it's it's really bad. I mean, uh, and I voted for the. I, I was like Patriot Act, whatever. Yeah, but no, this is bad. And it's funny because I spoke about gaggle and complained about that for a year. So what they do? They go out this year and they buy something worse. And they're like, wow, we don't need your permission. How, how did they buy that? Uh, Russell Thornton, the uh, executive director of technology. No, but what money? What money bought that? I don't know. Um, Taxpayer money yeah, bought well, that. Well, for sure, but I'm still trying to find out how much it was. But I can. Uh, I'm certain it was more than Gaggle, and Gaggle was forty five thousand dollars for a year. So yeah, for a year? For a year. Yeah. There are some school districts that are paying one hundred fifty, two hundred thousand dollars a year for this stuff. I'll tell you this right now, Zach and Duffield, which I like, I love that. Yo, what is he? He's, He's the athletic there? director. Okay, yeah, yeah. We met him. Uh, yeah, we went. Tim and I tour. went on a tour. Yeah, the only which two was awesome, by the way. Yeah, it was. Yeah. The only two parents that went on a tour of for the bond issue, right? Right. We yeah. wanted to see where the money was spent, and we went on a tour, and, uh, and Zach, it made sense. Zach was open. He was like, "Here's one. yeah, yeah, and he, right, yeah, oh yeah, real straightforward, right." And, and you know, I actually went into that tour. Against it because I think schools often spend way too much money on the sports. But then I go in there and I see the stuff they have, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is know. outdated bullshit. Yeah. That makes sense to me. You know, at least some of it. Yeah, it was like a million dollars, right? Is what they quoted, but he was he. I, I feel like they got ripped off. Yeah, if, I, if that's what they end up paying, because even even he was saying that you know it, it didn't seem to him like it should cost that much. Right, I could have brought it in for like six hundred grand. Yeah, right, man. Me and Mom will go up there and we'll do it. Yeah. 
Yeah, same with the good. Sky Bridge. If you want to, I mean, yeah, for one dollar less than what they're offering. Yeah, you can YouTube shit today that you know, I can get you a Sky Bridge. Okay. <laughs> uh, Duct tape and bailing wire. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we got this. We're eighties babies, so we're, worry, we're good. Kids yeah. are safe. <laughs> <laughs> just, just name it after us or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but we went up to, and Zach was, he, he showed us around, he, and he showed us what they were going to do, and he's like, there's no plans. And I was like, where's the drawings, where the, where's, and he's like, they could probably get you something, but they they didn't have anything. And this was back when Tim's girlfriend ran the school, and uh, what was her name? Who's that? Oh, Fitchner. Oh, Amy God. Fitchner. That lady <laughs> come up to me at a board meeting one day. I shit you not. And she says, Hi, Mr. Riven. I just want to let you know that I'm still the superintendent. And she's all like, and I'm like, oh, oh my God, lady. If I wasn't at a board meeting, I would say something to you. It's funny because two months later, she wasn't a superintendent she anymore. She wasn't. Because we took care of right? Because yeah. we join forces right. as parents, yeah. not as Republicans, not as Democrats, but as parents, we had a common goal. Yeah. And that's where we got to be, people. We got to be at the common goal. And don't be afraid to reach out to the school. Like, yeah. I have reached out to Duffield about the tour because I'm like, I don't know what y'all are planning on doing. I don't know what you guys need or whatever, but I wanted to see it with my own two eyes. This is our stuff. We paid for this stuff. We have a right to go in there and look at this stuff. So don't be afraid to go and call somebody and just ask them what the process is. Whether it's a classroom or yeah. an athletic department, a field house, whatever. Yeah. That's your money. Yeah. Right? Parents, taxpayers, that's your money. That's my that's, money. That's right. <laughs> we all work hard. It takes all kinds, and that's where we have to be at on this. So. Yeah. Yeah, uh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. The more people speak out, the more people speak out, right? Yes, that that's another big thing is that a lot of this stuff, you know, you and I have kind of gone our own way here, but um, if parents find themselves concerned, it says a lot more to the board and to the school district entirely if we have more people behind us. It, it carries and, a lot more. And not them. even behind us, but just speaking also. Speaking. Yes. And I've had grand, I'm sure you probably have this. I've had grandmothers. I've had moms. I have people every day that text me and send me messages. Please ask about this. Please ask. Mm -hmm. You're able to do that yourself. Yeah. I'm willing to do it for you, but you're able to, and it means more coming from you. Absolutely. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, I, I get that too. I get messages from people. Thank you for talking about this. Thank you for this and that and whatever. And while I don't mind, you know, uh, advocating also for other people, it, it is so much better for those people to advocate for themselves and their own children because if everybody was doing that, it makes the board members pay more attention. Show up and back us up. And have you ever been paid to advocate for parents or for the, for what you're doing? Have you ever been paid? For you know, but if I could find a way I, to do man, that, I mean, I'm right let there. Me, let me know where yeah. I can get the check. No, I just I still got fight in me. I'm not in the ground yet, so we're, we're grassroots. You know. Tim's been here the whole time. Uh, I've been here for two over two years. I I was like looking at my Facebook memories today. I was like, damn, I've been pissing liberals off for two years. So. If there's one thing good that came out of COVID, it was a lot of pissed off people that wanted change. Yeah, and in, in relationships, mm -hmm. community relationships. And that's one thing I'll say to David Crow. Yeah, I love James, I love Owasso, I love Broken Arrow, but we're one big community. We really are. What affects Owasso and Jinx at a state level affects everybody. So we have to... We have to find common ground, whether we're Republicans or Democrats. Yep. Or independents. I think that's probably the most important thing. Don't that be is afraid it, yeah. to have a discussion with somebody that you disagree with. You know, that's, I mean, that's how we, you know, because you, you came on there and, uh, you know, I didn't like oh, all the stuff we, you said. We've been in custody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've yeah, been like, so. you, But Sam. I always respected his opinion. Uh, he respected mine, and that's that's really what it boils down to, respecting yeah. each other. Uh, you know, you don't always have to be super nice to each other, but... We haven't really, really been in the past. I mean, there's no, we, yeah, yeah, we, we like, really... Been, yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> but you know, it's it, it takes the ability to to realize that this is I, bigger than us, right? And I can't say for sure that I'm right, and I can't say for sure that somebody else is wrong, because I don't have all the answers. But from my perception, this is how I see it. And when you approach something that way, it's like, well, I could be wrong, but this is how I'm seeing it. And then somebody else might have an idea about something that you may not have thought about before. And you'll only hear it if you're listening. Exactly. There's been people, there's been times, that, and, and I've only been been wrong twice because I've been married three times, but there's been times that people have given me information, and I've had to backtrack, and I've had to apologize and say, I was wrong. Yeah. And you have to be the, the person that says, I, I just want to fix the problem. I was wrong with my approach, but I still want to fix the problem. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, it's it's hard for some people to admit that they're wrong. It is. It is. For me, but, uh, you know, I still do it. Um, and we get attacked all the time. This, yeah. Right. Yeah. We get yeah, it, well, yeah. You know, he... I hadn't met anybody that was more misunderstood than me until I met Ron, and I'm like, man, because I'll do something, and this guy gets the flack for it, and I'm just like, hey, you know. Seriously, the other day, he was arguing on the thread that I wasn't even involved in, and this so much called him Ron, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, yeah, sure did. Did that? It really yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah, and because at first I'm like. Is that a typo? I mean, <laughs> no. you go from T-I-M to R-O-N? I don't know. Yeah. I don't uh, see an autocorrect doing that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're going to get off here. Uh, we just wanted to show you that d Democrats, Republicans, Independents, we can all come together because parents have been around for thousands of years before the OEA, before the OSSBA, before David Crow, before any of these groups and this technology – Parents have been doing what's best for their kids for thousands of years. And yep. parents, whether you're Democrat or Republic, whatever you think, we're going to continue to do what's best for our kids, right? Yep, absolutely. So uh, find your parent group. Find find somebody that will stand next to you and say, yes, their voice matters. They're willing to speak up. They're willing to stand up with us and, and go forth. Uh, I and try to do it respectfully. I don't always. We haven't always done yeah, it respectfully. My, my patience really doesn't always, you know, isn't always there. But yeah. I, I Tim try and my I, best. Tim and I, we got emails from Open Records Request that Amy Fishner hated us. Yeah, I read, I read an email the other day. It says because I did a Open Records Request for my name, and they're like, uh, Tim Ryland is coming, and make sure that if you talk to him that you're very careful about what you say because he records your phone calls and he records your conversations, and he'll post that online. And I'm like, damn straight I will. Same thing with this me. This is single party consent state. I've I can seen. record them legally in Oklahoma. So, and if real, you ever Oh, real quick. Uh, when I, because they were needing bus drivers and substitutes. You know where I'm going. Yeah. They were needing bus drivers and substitutes. So I applied. I was hired. I was sent the new hire package. And then Lisa Johnson, HR at Wausau Public Schools, called me and said, you lack judgment, so we're not hiring you. And I was like, what type of specific judgment do I lack? She's like, you just lack judgment. And then, uh, what's her name? The, the, the Fitchner? No, the superintendent, no. Uh, oh, Coates. Coates. Yeah, yeah. Coates sent an email to the board, and she's like, seven bullet points. And the oh, first right. one, oh, the, was bad. the first one was the only one she needed. Yeah. Ron made ones. a video that said that his daughter would kick the shit out of a boy if the boy walked in on her in her bathroom. I said that. Right, right. And that was enough, right? And I even agreed that, you know, because of that. Probably not a great idea. Right. To hire you don't want yeah, me yeah. teaching your cop. I could probably right, right. drive a bus, but you don't want me in a classroom with, with kids, right? Right. I and mean, I that's, agree yeah. with that. I understand it. Right. Sure. Yeah, yeah. But then you had six other bullshit bullet points. Just points. insulting. Insulting. Yeah. So then the next day after I spoke at the board meeting, the board president sent me an apology letter. And I can show that to whoever wants to see it. But yeah. Tim, Tim's like, why are you hiring a Satanist, non-binary, uh, gender teaching? Well, it wasn't fuck your great. parents it teacher. It wasn't quite that. Well, it was pretty much that. <laughs> fuck your parents teacher quoting piece of shit eighth grade teacher. Why are you doing that? Yeah. And not hiring Ron that says 
He wants to protect his daughter's rights. Yeah, I mean, the email was like, I find it, I find it amusing that you will deny him for something that he said in a video when you've got this teacher, Tyler, and then I linked to the video that he had made about, you know, you know, fuck your parents, and then, you know, we got to cut off a Nazi's arm or something like yeah. that, and I'm like, you know, Nazis are people too. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying, you know, this is violence, man. You got a teacher in there. Yeah, he's in the classroom. He, doing he, he was like stabbing himself with a knife. Yes. Yeah. He was pretending to be a student and him stabbing the student in the chest. That was totally un inappropriate. But man. Deborah Gist over at Tulsa Public School, she hired him to teach. Like, oh, that's great. We like it when teachers stab students. We need him at Rogers High School we'll to do teach that all students. the time. Yeah. Like, get out of line. Tyler's going to stab you. Yeah. And my, my wife was like, I can't believe the audacity. That's just a spit in the face of parents yeah. at Tulsa Public Schools. Yeah. Ooh, I, I, yeah. We, knew, we knew he was going somewhere. We knew he immediately yeah. would be picked up, which, you know, given the teacher shortage, to a degree, yeah. I understand it, but... You, you want know. bodies in the classroom, but, yeah. I mean, that's not a body you want. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. You know. Anyway, well, uh, yeah. Anyway, I can drive a bus if you want me to drive a bus. Tulsa Public, Tulsa. Go to Tulsa, see if you can drive a, see if they'll, see if they'll hire you. You think they will? I don't know. You could try. I could pass a Give it a shot. I could pass a background check. Yeah. Everybody knows my OCN, OCSN now, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. I've got, I've got a CDL too, so I could go up there. Can you and imagine us that. fucking pulling up next to each other at the, right. what's up? What's going on? Um, listen, we're going to do this once a week. Yeah, I like this. This is nice. Yeah, um, and we'll bring information, and we'll 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 make sure that everybody gets together on this because parents, if if not for us, there would be no them. If that makes sense. Yeah. So. And it takes it takes a village. It takes all kinds. It really does. It takes all of us. So, uh, I'm signing off. Uh, I love everybody. Ron love everybody. America. Tim, go ahead. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, you know, you're welcome to reach out to me. I'm sure you'll see me on Ron's post at some point, so you can send me a message if you want to say something. And friend him. Yeah, or friend me. And you're, and, you're big on TikTok. Uh, Tim's communist. I mean, I don't know. I don't Tim's know communist, so he stuff. loves TikTok. He's got a bunch of great videos on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, totally commie. Yeah, he, he's completely fucking Yeah, because, you know, the government needs to needs to dictate everything to us. Yeah, you know. yeah. We, we, what we really need is a social credit score. Oh my God, yeah. Tim, we need no! The Chinese the social fuck credit fuck score. That's what I'm kidding, y'all. Yeah, Calm he, down. he's con he's con <laughs> he's completely kidding. That's terrible stuff. That is terrible stuff. Yeah. Um, and see, this is this is the interaction that we need. Hang on a second, my wife's getting some ice. So, uh, okay, I, I like this. This is good. Yeah. We had a bunch of people watching too. Yeah. Well, we can just uh, make it once a week, set a date, uh, set a day, and then we'll just do it that way. That way, everybody that wants to come watch, they know what time and what day. And you're going to figure out the split screen in case you can't make it over to my house? Yeah, I've already got it figured out. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We just wanted to show that we were willing to go the extra mile to make sure that we inform parents. Yeah. So, uh, Tim's the computer savvy guy. I'm just a good looking guy. I'm like Jerry Lee to his... I don't know what I am. Yeah, I you're, you're Dean Martin. <laughs> Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis to Dean Martin. So. All right, we love everybody. We'll talk to you all later. Peace.